So guys and gals, this is the product. It came in this nice little box. And when you open it up, it looks like that. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I am about to show you a product from Range Technology. Now just so you know, they did not sponsor me for this, so I'm a little disappointed about that, but it's all good. It's a very inexpensive uh, modification. It is the best, in my opinion, inexpensive modification for your C7 Corvette to uh, make certain that your engine and your transmission are now safe. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the car and I'm going to plug it in, show you guys how that works, and then drive around and show you guys real quickly uh, that it's not going to drop from V8 mode to V4 mode anymore. The cylinder deactivation will be completely gone. And so that'll be great news. It will Again, save the engine and the transmission. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in the car and go for a ride. So guys and gals, this is the product. It came in this nice little box. And when you open it up, it looks like that. And so I'm gonna pull it out of here and I'm going to install it right into there. All right, so this is what it looks like. And we're gonna just plug this in with it turned facing down, just like that. And as you can see, those LEDs are lighting up there. And it's very simple. That's all you do is plug it in there. All right guys, so I've got it installed. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, uh, whoop didn't want to put it in sport let's go back to tour because that's going to prove it even more and let's go down to uh, here we go this is where it will show it going into v4 mode which it won't be able to do anymore but let's show you exactly what's going to happen here and by the way while i'm thinking about it uh on a corvette like this unless you daily drive it you're not gonna wanna leave this thing plugged in. So it's a little bit of a hassle if you're not daily driving your vet. Um, you're gonna want to, when you get home, make sure to pull it out. Um, I mean, unless you're, you're driving it like every other day, but if you're waiting three or four days or longer to drive your Corvette, then you're gonna wanna definitely take it out and remember to put it back in. So what I would do is I'd pop it out and I put it in your cup holder. That way when you get in, you'll see it and go, oh, okay. And then it'll remind you to put it in your actual port. So again, we're gonna just drive and I'm gonna leave it in drive. I'm not putting it in manual mode because in my last video, I talked about how if you put it in manual mode, it completely gets rid of the V4 mode or the cylinder deactivation. So, Another uh, term for this is active fuel management. The trucks have it, these cars have it. And so right now would be a prime time. I'm going uh, 50 miles an hour. It would be a perfect time. I'm letting off the gas and coasting. No V4 mode so far. I've got to look around my GoPro that's right in front of the dash area here um, but yeah no v4 mode we'll get up to let's see now i'm going almost 70 letting off coasting still no v4 mode i'll go to eco mode um, when i said i was in eco mode earlier i meant tour <laughs> so let's go to eco mode uh, which is basically the same thing. I haven't really found any difference between the two. I'm going 56 right now. Coasting. St 
still no V4 mode. So it's an inexpensive item. I didn't tell you the price in the beginning. Uh, it's only going to run you $190 on Amazon. Uh, it's pretty cool, uh, the place that I got it from. I'll link it down below in the description. I think they were a little bit less expensive than range, maybe by five or ten dollars. Uh, but yeah, so you can go on there and um, it was one day shipping. So that was cool. I bought it and literally had it the very next day. Um, so, so far, if you enjoy this video, if it's something that you're definitely gonna go buy, uh, and you know put it on your Corvette or even if you're a truck guy and you want to get rid of the um, active fuel management on your truck um, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and uh, this is the first time I've used it so I'm gonna drive a little bit further let you guys see that it's not just a short little distance I'm going and it's you know it's not just a fluke or an anomaly that it's not working um, or that it is working, I should say. <laughs> um, and by the way, while you're looking at this view of the V8 mode, I just wanna take this time to thank each and every one of my followers that has supported this channel, that has you know, given me excellent feedback. I appreciate all of your guys' feedback. Don't think that if I don't, you know, it, um, do something that you suggest that I don't think it's a good suggestion. It's just, you gotta imagine, I have a lot of suggestions from people, and so I I still appreciate every suggestion, whether I implement it or not. So thank you for those suggestions. Thank you for being loyal. I have so many loyal followers. Um, I really appreciate you guys when I have somebody talking trash. And I don't even have to say anything. You guys got my back and you you take care of those people. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, we are, I, like I said in my last video, we're growing so fast. I think we're close to 17,500 subs now. Um, I've been uh, talking about wanting to hit 20,000 subs in the next couple of months. And my reason for that is because uh, it is April 16th is my two-year anniversary on YouTube and how cool would it be to hit 20,000 subs in two years that that to me just makes a statement all by itself it, it just seems like a great number to hit for my two-year anniversary being on YouTube and because I want to give something away I really truly do I've never really given anything away on the channel um, and I really want to give back and um, you know give you guys something to say thank you for all of your support all of your kind words all of you know everything that you guys do for, for brink of speed and um, you know one thing that I do want to do also is I want to start giving merch away uh, obviously, I've got a merch store, the Brink of Speed online store, and um, if you have not checked that out yet, you should definitely go on there and check it out, um, but I want to start giving merch away, So, but I, I really want feedback on my merch. I've, I've sold a few items, and I've had nothing but great feedback, but I'd love to have more feedback on that, and so, um, you know, that would be another way that I could give back. I could give away merch all the time and, and uh, get you guys wearing the Brink of Speed uh, community stuff. So, but that's really gonna do it. I have not seen this thing go to V4 mode one time. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and I hope this uh, has helped you guys know what you can do. One other thing real quick about this device is it will not void your warranty. I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there that ask me, will this vo void my warranty? The answer is no. Um, just make sure to unplug it before you take your car to the dealership. Otherwise, it will throw up a little bit of a red flag, like what is this? Uh, but there is no trace of it in the computer system anywhere once you take it out. All it does is just bypass that cylinder deactivation 
while it's in there and as soon as you take it out it goes right back to using cylinder deactivation so that's it ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed the video if so give me a big thumbs up if you have not joined this wonderful brink of speed community i would love to have you uh, as you know, I'm getting the C8. It should be sometime in March. If not, it'll be the very first week of April, hopefully. And I will be doing great content on that brand new Corvette for you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in and you like what you've seen so far, make sure and smash that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you out on the road.